Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 37 on Laplace transform. In this lecture also we will discuss how to solve initial value problem using Laplace transform. In lecture number 36 we have explained the method of solving differential equations or initial value problems using Laplace transform. So I suggest you to watch lecture number 36 first before going for this lecture. So we are going to discuss uh, this initial value problem and uh, we are going to solve this initial value problem using Laplace transform. We have second order ordinary differential equation with two initial conditions y of 0 equal to 2 and y dash 0 equal to 0. So as we have discussed in the lecture number 36, first step is uh, we write down the given differential equation given ordinary differential equation is d square y by dt square that I can write as y double dash plus 9y equal to 6 and uh, in the next step we have to take Laplace transform on both sides of this equation taking Laplace transform on both sides and we have to apply the formula for the derivative of Laplace transform here uh, we have Laplace transform of y double dash plus 9y equal to Laplace transform of right hand side which is 6 now using linearity property this I can rewrite as Laplace transform of y double dash plus 9 times Laplace transform of y and this we can rewrite as 6 times Laplace transform of 1. This I have written using linearity property for Laplace transform. Now we have ready made formula for the Laplace transform of derivative. Here we have second order derivative and uh, Laplace transform of y double dash is s square times y bar s minus s into y of 0 minus y dash 0. Here y bar s is the notation for Laplace transform of y plus 9 times Laplace transform of y which we denote by y bar s equal to 6 times Laplace transform of 1 which is 1 by s and here we mention that y bar s is Laplace transform of y of t. In the next step we use the initial conditions. Uh, we are given two conditions. We are given that y of 0 is 2 and y dash 0 is 0. So we put y of 0 equal to 2 and uh, here we will have 2s y dash 0 is 0 and plus 9 times y bar s equal to 6 divided by s. We are interested in y bar s. So we combine these two terms and we have s square plus 9 times y bar s and we transfer this minus 2s on right hand side. So we have 6 by s plus 2s therefore y bar s equal to 6 divided by s times s square plus 9 plus 2 s divided by s square plus 9 this is the value of y bar s which is Laplace transform of y of t to obtain y of t from this we have to consider inverse Laplace transform on both sides so we apply inverse Laplace transform on both sides L inverse of y bar s equal to 6 into L inverse of 1 divided by s into s square plus 9 plus 2 into L inverse of s divided by s square plus 9 which I can rewrite as s square plus 3 square. To obtain inverse Laplace transform of this, we can apply the formula for division by s. For that, uh, we write this as 1 divided by s square plus 9 
divided by s let me write properly this uh, i will keep s in the division and here i put 1 divided by s square plus 9 so that we can apply that formula uh, inverse laplace transform of f of s by s plus 2 times inverse laplace transform of s over s square plus 3 square is cos 3t and this left hand side is inverse laplace transform of y bar s which is y of t now if you recall that formula if we our function is in this form l inverse of f of s by s then this is equal to integral of inverse laplace transform of f of s with respect to u so here also we have this type of situation uh, with f of s equal to 1 divided by s square plus 9 if you compare this if you compare this uh, expression with f of s by s f of s is 1 divided by s square plus 9 so using this formula we can write this as integral from 0 to t inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s square plus 9 and uh, integral with respect to u and we keep this as it is 2 times cos 3t now inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s square plus 9 uh, i can write 9 as 3 square so inverse laplace transform of this function is sin 3t divided by 3 integration with respect to u plus 2 cos 3t and here we are using u as dummy variable so we replace this t by u and uh, we can cancel out this 3 with uh, this 6 so we are left with 2 and integral of sin 3u is minus cos 3u divided by 3 limits of u are from u equal to 0 to t plus 2 cos 3 t and uh, finally we have to put limits here upper limit is u equal to t so first we take u equal to t and we have minus cos 3 t minus lower limit so negative negative will be positive and cos 0 is 1 and divided by 3 plus 2 times cos 3 t and uh, this we can rewrite again as 2 into 1 minus cos 3 t divided by 3 plus 2 into cos 3 t and uh, this again we can simplify by taking 3 lcm this is 2 minus 2 cos 3 t plus 6 cos 3 t and uh, finally we obtain this is equal to 6 cos 3 t minus 2 cos 3 t that is 4 cos 3 t divided by 3 this is our required function y of t which is solution of given initial value problem uh, we can verify our solution by checking initial conditions first initial condition was y of 0 equal to 2 so if i put uh, t equal to 0 in right hand side of this y of t i will have 2 plus 4 cos 0 is 1 divided by 3 that is 6 by 3 which is 2 so first condition is satisfied to check second condition we have to differentiate y with respect to t so derivative is 4 into derivative of cos is minus sin 3t into 3 divided by 3 and uh, if we take t equal to 0 because sin 0 is 0 this will be 0 so this shows that our solution is correct because it satisfies both the initial conditions and we are not checking that whether it satisfies given equation or not. So this is correct solution if it satisfies differential equation as well as initial conditions but that is fine 
uh, we can just simply check for initial conditions to confirm that this is correct and uh, this is your final answer or we can write that therefore yt equal to this is the solution of given initial value problem in this way we can solve this type of initial value problems using laplace transform also and uh, this we can solve using the methods which we have discussed in the chapter of differential equations but here it is specified that you have to solve this initial value problem using laplace transform so you must solve this problem by laplace transform only and uh, we briefly uh, summarize this first step is you take laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation and uh, uh, after applying laplace transform you have to use the formula for laplace transform of the derivative and when you are using that formula uh, there will be initial conditions there will be y and uh, its derivatives at t equal to 0 so that you can use initial conditions uh, here after using initial conditions try to obtain Laplace transform of y which we have denoted by y bar so first we obtain Laplace transform of y of t which we denote by y bar and by taking inverse Laplace transform of y bar we obtain required function y of t which is the solution of given initial value problem so in this way we can easily solve this type of initial value problems using Laplace transform also this is all about this session i hope you like it if you have any doubts or queries you can ask in the comment section thank you very much